So today we are making an Easter recipe and it's very simple. It's fried rice, we have done it before, but right now I'm going to make it in a way that is going to be so sumptuous because I'm adding coconuts. I'm using basmati rice today, carrots, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, green peas, corn, kidney beans, spring onions and prawns. I'll be eating it with turkey that will be air fried. This is going to be a very beautiful recipe but first we're going to open up our coconut and blend it. I'll add water to like the amount I need to make my rice, my coconut fried rice and cover it. And here I'll be sieving the coconut milk because this rice will be cooking in coconut milk rather than water okay i've got an array of spices and one of the most important for fried rice is the curry now with this curry you'll be able to get um that beautiful fried rice color and that is because of the turmeric i don't know if you can see this this is curry powder mixed curry powder the normal one we call curry in nigeria now this is turmeric powder now this turmeric here makes this curry look golden now you can buy turmeric alone and mix it with other things like cumin like coriander seeds and blah 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 other beautiful um, spices to make your curry powder but in this curry powder everything like turmeric coriander seeds cumin and uh, fennel and uh, a lot of other seeds might already be in it so that makes your curry mix okay so I'll add the usual curry powder. I'll add just a little bit of um, turmeric to give this my fried rice that beautiful golden color, yeah? Here is my oregano, beautiful herb, garlic powder, a little bit of ginger, chicken seasoning cubes here. So I'm going to stir that into the milk don't worry when it boils it will completely melt into the coconut um, milk i will just cut a bit of onions and throw it in there for the onion flavor i'm going to salt it and add a little bit of white pepper and my friend sent me this white pepper from Cameroon and I have been enjoying it. So thank you to all my Cameroonian um, followers and um, Cameroonian viewers. Thank you so much. And thank you, Bode, for sending me this pepper. It's so nice. So this is white pepper, really. I'll be adding very little oil because coconut in itself has some oil. And begin to add the rice. Make sure you taste. This is good. Cover it and allow it to cook till done. You're not doing anything here again. My turkey is here and I'll be rubbing it with this paste. But before I rub it with this paste, I'm going to season it with some salt. Now this paste I'll tell you everything I have in it. I use it for one of my videos, I'm making turkey with it. Um, so I'm going to show you now how it's done. Processed pepper, onions, carrots, garlic, chives, seasoning. Drizzle a little oil. Now it's time for me to add some white pepper to this and then my paste. Now I've just showed you everything in that paste. You can try it out and um, tell me what you think. But um, that turkey that we made with it was really nice. That's why I'm deciding to make it again. So just paste it on your turkey or chicken or fish. It goes with anyone. I'm going to place it in my air fryer. Now I'm going to cover it. Okay. And 180 degree, I'll cook it for 25 minutes. While it's cooking, we start working on the vegetables. I have green peppers, yellow peppers, red pepper, carrots, string beans, sausages all cut here. Uh, my turkey is cooking well. I flipped it in a halfway. I flipped it and this coconut rice is ready. It's actually ready. Once you don't hear the ken, 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 I'm saying don't, don't. 
okay? I also have leftover prawns. I'm just going to cut them into bite size and we begin the stir frying. So I have my bite sized prawns over here. So I need to chop some onions. So everything is ready now. So I have all that paste caramelized into the turkey. So turkey is ready. I'll just... I have a little bit of oil in there. I'm going to add very little onion, the garlic powder, the ginger powder, some leftover chicken that I cut down. Work can be very hot, so it cooks your food very fast. So that's why you need to have everything prepped down and cook them fast as well. Now, the chicken is halfway cooked. I'm going to add the prawns. Now that my prawns is looking all reddish or pinkish, I'll go in with my chicken sausages. Now I'm going to season with some seasoning cubes at this point and stir fry. I'll add my onions, the remaining onions. Now the string peas will be next because it's raw. It's not been cooked or blanched. One part of my carrots will go in next. I like crunchy carrots, so I'm reserving the rest for later. Now the peppers will go in in no particular order. They are all the same. I'll allow them cook for a minute. At this point, I'm just going to chop my spring onions for garnishing. What spring onions is to onions is what garlic chives is to garlic chives. So this is um, garlic chives. See, it's flat. And this is spring onions. It's a bit more robust. So I have both garlic chives and spring onions here. All right, so this is fine. Now this, my fried rice is very rich. My canned green peas goes in. My kidney beans goes in. This is kidney beans. Now at this point, I'm going to reserve some of this. This is what you should do. So when you have some visitors later, you can just go take some rice, take some of this, stir it in, add your corn and serve them. Okay? Don't do everything together except you are all, as in you are sure you guys are going to eat it within a few hours. If not, it will not last long. I'll begin to add the rice. This rice was cooked in coconut milk. Oh, this looks so gorgeous. Once you have done this, you can now put it in your cooler and uh, make sure you eat it quickly. I'm adding the sweet corn now. If you're staying overnight, don't add the corn yet. You can add the corn when you're about to serve. Don't even mix in all your vegetables. If you are not finishing it, you can keep your rice aside, keep the veggies on one side, keep your corn on one side. When the visitor comes, you bring out your frying pan or wok or pot. You mix everything the way I've mixed it like this and it's fine. So I'm going to send this into my Christmas plate. Is it Christmas? Is it Easter? My Easter plate. Yeah? So you can just put this in the middle of your um, dining. Fill it up. Everybody will come and be taking their rice most when you put your turkey, your chicken, everything like that. If you are looking for festive holiday cooking, I have a lot of them on my YouTube foodies and spice, Facebook foodies and spice. Go check it out. You'll find something to cook. This my rice is, is tasty already. It's very yummy. It's um what's the word? You see, if you love coconut rice, you'll love this better because this is coconut fried rice. Everything just enter. Every spoon. It's yummy. I can feel the crunch of the well-cooked vegetables, not overcooked. It's really good. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipes.